Flood devastated home owners are calling on the Brisbane Lord Mayor to reinstate a voluntary buyback scheme so their wrecked homes can be taken out of the market and turned into parkland. Key points, as well as pleading for a home buyback scheme, Rockley residents say it is disgraceful they could not apply for the council's Flood Resilient Homes program. As well as pleading for a home buyback scheme, Rockley residents say it is disgraceful they could not apply for the council's Flood Resilient Homes program. The councillor for Maruka Ward has long called on the BCC to bring back the voluntary home purchase scheme. The councillor for Maruka Ward has long called on the BCC to bring back the voluntary home purchase scheme. Lord Mayor Adrian Schriner said a buyback scheme would not be a silver bullet solution. Rockley resident Luke Greaves and his partner lost everything when the low-lying house they bought in 2016 was submerged in flood water for three days. Mr Greaves said although he knew flooding was a possibility, the information available when he bought the house did not show the full extent of the risk. The house right now has been submerged worse than the 2011 flood, he said. Several properties around Mr Greaves' house were acquired by the council and demolished as part of the voluntary home purchase scheme before it was axed. The father of three young children said, given the extent of last week's flood disaster, voluntary buybacks should return. Seeing the waters come in, I think it would be better that future residents aren't impacted by this, he said. He also said it's disgraceful that the council's flood resilient homes program has not been rolled out in flood-prone Rockley. Homeowners in some parts of Rockley raised their houses after the 2011 flood. Their living areas were spared from damage. As part of the program, invited property owners are given financial assistance to adapt their homes through measures including raising them. Mr Greaves said he has been asking to be included in the scheme since it began, but said he was told by the council that Rockley is not impacted severely enough by flooding and does not meet the criteria. It is disgraceful to a certain extent, and I would invite the Lord Mayor, with my local councillor, to come and see the property and understand the impact of the floods on the community. Houses are not habitable, not safe for months, and that is a problem for the system as a whole, he said. House flooded despite real estate agents assurances. Sandy Shear lost everything in the flood and does not have insurance for her Rockley house. Mr Greaves' neighbour, Sandy Shear, is in an even worse position because she does not have insurance. Her house flooded so badly that parts of the ceiling caved in and there are holes in the walls. She, her partner and baby are now living in a hotel. Miss Shear said when she bought the house in 2015, a real estate agent told her flood water would never come into the house. Back then, it was said the 2011 flood was an every 30 years kind of flood, I thought I would be living in another place in 30 years, she said. Miss Shear said she does not know where to start with her house, which, more than a week after the flood, does not even have power. Buyback, that's the best option, that's the best thing I can think of, she said. To buy back this property so we can start to find some place with no flood risk or lower flood risk area. Councillor for Maruka Ward Steve Griffiths has long called on the Brisbane City Council to bring back the voluntary home purchase scheme. It was cut by this mayor and there are so many homes and so many people who want to participate in a voluntary buyback so we can remove those homes that are worst affected, he said. In the past, it's worked on a voluntary basis where residents have applied to council, council have assessed the need and the depth to which they flood, it's for homes where water is coming into their living areas, Mr Griffiths said. He said the council was responsible for originally approving residential development in the low-lying area. I believe councils got to take responsibility for fixing the problem up, eliminating the problem so we don't have the problem in the future, he said. It's a good investment for the city and it's morally the right thing to do, to not be having people live in areas where they are going to flood frequently, he said. Mr Griffiths said he has not been able to get the Flood Resilient Homes program extended to Rockley. One of the worst affected areas of the city. I have not been able to get that scheme, it would benefit people here, many of whom are struggling with day-to-day -day living expenses and can't afford to raise their homes. 
Brisbane Lord Mayor will consider all options. When asked yesterday if he would consider reinstating the voluntary buyback scheme, Lord Mayor Adrian Schrinner said, a number of residents in flood-affected areas did not want to sell but that will consider all options. Flood water inundated the home Luke Greaves lives in with his partner and three young children. Yes, there may be opportunities to buy certain flood-affected properties, but a buyback scheme is not a silver bullet, it's just one thing of many that we need to look at, Mr Schrinner said. He said he is very keen to ensure the council gets support from other levels of government. There's lots of different things we can do, there's lots of different programs we can continue to gear up, and we're really keen to make sure that all levels of government help people build back better, he said. Deputy Premier Stephen Miles said the state government was considering all appropriate options. We're just doing the disaster assessments now so it will take some time to work through both assessing the level of damage in those locations and assessing the best, the most appropriate resilience projects there, Mr Miles said. In the past, we have seen small buybacks where there haven't been alternative options available, but they are expensive and they obviously displace people. We will consider all of the appropriate options, including allowing for building alterations, localized levees, other stormwater protections.